Imagine if you can, the time between thought, a gap hanging in reality, a moist lull of negative nothing. Not easy, is it? Okay, let's try something more achievable. It's Wednesday. Off to a good start, but this Wednesday is not like any other Wednesday. For a start, it hasn't started yet. Now it has. And for mild-mannered everyman Doris, nothing will not quite as it was as much as it wasn't as it was the day before. It's not every day you get that promotion. The easy life, the dream job, and yesterday was no different. It didn't happen. Doris, or David, O'Reilly, India Smith, is now unemployed, unimpressed by his portfolio, and essentially a passive-aggressive rant at why, after ten years, he keeps being regularly treated like a big pile of droppings, in not so many words. He found himself sacked that day. That day. Yesterday. But that day is not not today, for today is yet more of the rest of his life. Again. But wait, what's that on the news? No one is to leave home. No one is going into work if they can help it. Stay home and do whatever you like. Yes, David O'Reilly India Smith feels blessed. He has an excuse for inaction at last. But wait, what if something ironic happens? All his favorite books explode, or there's a power cut caused by his books exploding, or he decides to write a book, and by doing so, explodes the world. He pauses and smiles. Does that seem likely? Would fate flip the fickle middle finger in his direction today of all days, this Wednesday? Relaxed, he makes himself a cup of tea, butters a crumpet, puts his feet up and reaches for a favorite book, and explodes. So what is the moral of this tale? Don't put Marmite on individual cornflakes, it's not worth the effort. Never eat anything bigger than your head. Or is it just a simple warning that things are never quite as they might seem to be when you find you can't go outside the inner limits? That was The Inner Limits with Jonathan West, written by Elliot Stewart.